Imagine a desert so vast and empty that it feels like nothing but unending sand. And yet, scattered across those sands lies a glass born not of human hands, but of cosmic violence. This is Libyan desert glass. Around 30 million years ago, a meteorite moving faster than sound collided with Earth's atmosphere and released a burst of energy so intense it melted the very sand beneath it. The desert floor was flash fused into natural glass, its silica transformed by unimaginable heat and pressure. What was once sand became something entirely new, translucent yellow and greenish stones scattered across the Sahara. We call this an impact height since it was formed due to meteorite impact. Now look closely at these pieces. Some are almost clear, transparent like frozen drops of sunlight. Others are milkier and clouded by microscopic bubbles and inclusions trapped during their violent birth. The difference in clarity comes down to impurities, trace minerals, and the cooling process in the aftermath of the blast. Each sample is a record of the physics at play in that ancient moment. These stones have a rich human history as well. The ancient Egyptians stumbled across these stones too, and they carved them, shaped them, and ultimately treasured their beauty quite a bit. Perhaps the most famous example is a scarab amulet that was cut from desert glass, and that was discovered among the treasures of King Tut's tomb. While the boy king likely didn't understand the origins of the stone he wore, it's pretty wild to think about the cosmic connection here. In modern times, LDG is traded as whole stone fragments and shaped into jewelry still as well. Ultimately, Libyan desert glass is more than just a geological curiosity. It's a cosmic time capsule and a testament to the raw power of planetary impacts. It's a reminder that sometimes the universe leaves some pretty unique gifts. Want to see more interesting space rocks? Make sure to follow.